So, uh, in this demo, we are going to continue where we left off from last. Let's run our application and see where we left off to start. So, we did profit triggers um, and data triggers, right? Okay, so now we're going to continue with event triggers. For this demo, I'm going to go ahead and add a button right here to the top of our grid. I'm going to give it a name. Call it BTN for button the content of um, I guess say event trigger and um, font size let's go with 20 mm, how about 30 nah, font size with font handling Okay, that's a good size. I'm going to expand this button to make room for our triggers. So we're going to open it, open close a button dot triggers. Okay, inside our triggers, I'm going to add a event trigger. And we need to use a routed event, and this is going to be a button click. All right, close inside our trigger. So, this is basically our condition when the button clicks, we want something to happen with event triggers, animation come into play. Okay. So we need to add a storyboard. So we're going to start with begin storyboard a tag. It's going to flag that storyboard is beginning. And now we are adding our storyboard. Open close and inside the storyboard we are adding our animation as a child of the storyboard. So, this is going to be a color animation. I'm going to say from, we could use this, or oh, this is not mandatory. Basically, you could say from, it's more useful when you do it with, I guess, double animations. But you could say, go from white to red, white to black. Uh, I'm going to leave this alone for now. I'm just going to use two, the target, what color I, I want to animate to. And um, since I'm going to affect the button itself, I want this color to go to cornflower blue. Okay, I need to give it a duration, how long this animation will take place. It's in format of hours, minutes, and seconds. So I want this to take two, let's two seconds. Okay, and I need to give it a target property. Storyboard, target property. It's going to be background. Dot color. So, I think we are good here. Let's test it out. So when I click the button, my color should change to blue in two seconds, and it did. That's great. Next animation, I want to affect a different element. 
I want to change the color of the text over here. Okay. So I'm going to add another animation. It's going to also be a color animation. Um, I want to go to a color of red. And I want to, for this one, I want it to be instantaneous. So I'm going to go 0, 0, 0. That means uh, it's going to be instant since everything is 0. And target property, storyboard target property, it's going to be foreground dot color since we are affecting a we are targeting a different element we need to give it a name too storyboard for this we're going to use storyboard target name and if you remember from last demo we named it I think checkbox one and close it and I think that should do it Let's test this out. Let's click our button. The color changed right away. And this one, the background of the button, it took two, two seconds to change. So that's event triggers. OK. Um, I think we're going to say that's it for now. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for tuning in.